Hello there, I am Huskap1, and another one of today's tutorials is the M60A1 patent tank, uh, specifically the AVLB version, which is, um, if I'm not mistaken, Armored Vehicle Launched Bridge. Uh, and today also joining me is the S4, you may recognize him from the last tutorial, when I was building the uh, DL-17, uh, we got Pilot and the Three Musketeers. <laughs> Maybe I should give him German names or something. Alright, so anyway, we got the uh, patent tank variant. And uh, it looks very similar, the, the tank portion itself, to my last tutorial of the patent tank, which would be expected, of course, since they're just variants. Um, so I'll just demonstrate for you, that for you really quick, and then we'll get to the bridge portion uh, just as fast. So we start off with the wheels, as usual. The standard eight blocks long for most of my tanks. Part of this is kind of a let's build, because I haven't done the uh, bridge extended across yet. Um, but it shouldn't be too complicated, I already have in mind what I'm going to do. But just a heads up, I have not built it entirely yet. Even though I'm pretty confident I'll get it right the first time. Otherwise I won't be recording it as a let's build. And in that respect, it's a tutorial altogether. Alright, so now for the wool, if you're going to do a sandstone, I mean a, a desert pattern, you use a white carpet, otherwise you use a, a green stained clay and green carpet for the standard uh, ERDL version, or army green paint job. Now for the M60 patent tank, you're going to put a carpet on all of these if you've already seen the tutorial. For the bridge layer version, when it's folded up, you're not going to put... Um, carpet on these two blocks. Since I'm going to be extending the bridge, I can still fit it though, so I'll be adding it. This little, this set of features right here in the center is optional. I just uh, include it because I feel it's worth noting. Okay, so what you're going to do is this little setup here to, um, this is the mechanic that raises and lowers the bridge. Um, and to build the bridge folded, you're just gonna pause and build as I have it here. Nothing much to it, and the only detail worth noting is the center, which has these little supports uh, in between. Every two blocks, I should add. And uh, to make it extended downwards, we're gonna modify it a little bit. Alright, so that actually worked pretty well. Let's adjust it a little bit. There we go. Okay, and then that's where the bridge will start. Um, I this one more. Okay, we'll go with that. So now all I'm doing is building the bridge that you saw up there, except extend it across whatever uh, ditch may block your way for the tank column. Now the bridge from t from front to back is 24 blocks, if I'm not mistaken. And this hole is 18 blocks long, so it should go 2 blocks past, and then cut off. Like so. So the hole itself is 18 blocks, and then the additional four on the ends is going to make it make it 24 blocks long. <laughs> Alright, and then for the center 10 blocks, we'll be adding stone slabs. And then you should be left with five at the end as well. Oh, you know what? I should be using the uh, sandstones. 
bridge oh. since I'm building it within town. Usually the bridge matches the color of the tank, but uh, oh well. Uh, you can just imagine that I'm building it uh, in the green uh, paint job pattern. Okay, now for the supports, we're just gonna skip every two blocks and place a half slab like so. Ignoring this center section. Okay, and then there should be a gap of four in the center, and that's how you know you did it right. And uh, then you're just about finished. Uh, so this has been another entertaining tutorial brought to you by Huskap1, and thank you for watching.